So basically, uh, anyone seen Star Wars? <laughs> How many? Anyone has not seen Star Wars? <laughs> wrong, wrong question. It says who hasn't seen it more than twice. I will go it. Yeah. Okay. So what happened is uh, the new Star Wars movie. There is a new joint called BB-8. So it actually got a lot of attention from the internet since it was released because people was wondering and thinking that it's not possible to even build one to start off with. So when they actually show one walking on the stage at the time, everyone was amazed and yeah, I didn't, go in, I didn't actually take a look at that at that point of time. You know, I actually got in somewhere like uh, maybe last month or so. Then uh, I just saw the board then I was thinking, I can actually build this out of something and uh, yeah so I was thinking actually I have gotten a Hasbro one sometime later then I realized that actually, the Hasbro one is nice it's cool uh, the Spiro one is nice but a tap too expensive mm -hmm. and uh, I was thinking maybe I can just integrate uh, the Hasbro and the Spiro one together and try to make something that is in between and uh, still not successful yet as you can see right now it's just a transparent spear that I got from uh, Asren mm -hmm. uh, together with Arduino, uh, uh, motor driver, uh, two motors and yeah that's, that's about it for the hardware actually so uh, let me just try to drive it so uh, wow uh, let me try it so controlled by a bluetooth? yeah bluetooth Oh, let me just control. Okay, just need a while. So BB stands for Bluetooth port? <laughs> <laughs> it might. <laughs> it might. Okay, so let's say for example, let me just confirm. Okay. Ooh. That's the front. Nice. It turns left, it turns right. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna be worried that it will draw off the table for some reason. <laughs> Uh, 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 right, like yeah, yeah, yeah. We put it on the floor. Yeah, put it on the floor. Then we can all gather here. Try to make sure the chain works on the floor. So, I haven't really tried it out. On the carpet. So let's see, you can move forward. You need a weight. And then turn. A bit. I can't. I'm not quite sure where's the front door. Okay, that's the front. And okay. that's the back. So my biggest <laughs> problem now actually is yeah. Counterweight. I do not have you enough counterweight. Big weight in the bottom. Yeah. And you need a big magnet, at the a very strong magnet at the top. Correct. So. And then another, and then you need a gyroscope to, uh, to actually correct the thing and mm. to give feedback. So let me just show you what happens if I could connect the head. Actually, I have failures with the head quite more often than the thing itself. Cause, as mentioned, there's a need for a very strong magnet for this, which is okay. actually not very easy. <laughs> Okay, so actually what happened is I actually have uh, two magnets on each, on, uh, on the head and on the body, uh, which in reverse polarity. Yeah. So what happened is, from there I could actually um, determine which side is the front easily based on that. So let me just try it out. It might and might not work. Let's try this. Okay, let me just. Okay, so let's move it back a bit. But because I never um, tape up the ball itself, so there's a chance that it might just be open Ooh. at some point. So let me try this. Oh. Ah, oh. so you get off. Yeah. So the problem with the whole thing is mainly the, the mannequin on the top. Too strong and there's a pos possibility that um, what I've tried so far, when it's really, really strong, the, because the weight is not very heavy, the whole right. internal mechanism got caught up. Yeah. So oh. the wheel actually didn't touch the <laughs> spear at all, then it's just yeah. dangling there. Too little and uh, when you move the time, right, it will just, the whole head will just roll off without me doing anything much. So yeah, that is pretty... Counterweight will solve a lot of the problem. Actually, I tried to use counterweight, but so far it didn't actually work for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Um, Let's talk about it afterwards. Yeah, yeah, there will also be friction, something like yeah, that. Correct. Yeah, correct. So what happened is uh, the head itself with magnetic force actually also has some friction. Mm -hmm. So if it's mm -hmm. a bit too strong, actually it also prevents it from moving. Yeah. Well, the, the big thing the weight will, cut will uh, solve is it won't, <coughs> won't overshoot and wobble around. Yeah, correct. Right? Uh, and so it'll be smoother. Yeah, correct. So what happened is on the internet, there's another uh, implementation of this. Instead of using a hamster ball, mm -hmm. like what I'm doing right now, whereby the 
internal mechanism is actually touching the spear uh, on, at the bottom. There's another one whereby they do a pendulum, whereby it's just, uh, how is it? Imagine. The head roller version. The one with the head? Ah, no. in the head, not that one? No. Uh, th that's one version. Yeah. And uh, there's one more whereby. That, because they were looking at the video, then they realized, hey, how this works is that. Let me try to. So there's take more than one ways of, of, of skinning this cat. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So what happened is uh, they will actually have a T shape. The bottom will be a pendulum with all the weights inside there. Right. So uh, the two the two end of the T shape will actually uh, be fixed onto the ball itself. So it's a single axis. Right. So it will move uh, when the two motors on the two sides rotate. Right. Then to turn, what happened is because there's pendulum there, pendulum there, right? So there's actually a mot uh, ser what do you call that? Servo motor whereby it turns while moving or just because mm -hmm. of the force, it will force the ball to move. Actually, yeah. you know what? I'll take it back. You don't need a counterweight. You need a two-axis uh, gyroscope. A mechanical yeah. gyro. Yeah. <laughs> no more mechanical gyro, I think, also. Yeah, because yeah. you have the gyroscope in the middle in the, in, with the motor assembly. The wheels turn. The yeah. middle piece stays solid, yeah. and it'll force, the, it'll force the globe to move. Okay. Yeah. And so you move the wheels in the same direction. It goes straight, yeah. backward and forward. You move mm. in a different direction. It spins left yes, to right. right. And then the whole thing in the middle stays stable. Mm. Two-axis gyro. Yeah. All right. I think I can do that. Well, wait. That's a lot easier said than done. <laughs> 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 I think it's cool the way it is now. It's really yeah, 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 it's, it's really definitely. cool. Definitely. Actually, it works better as a giant spiral, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> whereby I do not have the head there. The head. With the head, it's actually a bit slower uh, because of efficient and uh, a bit unstable. Because I do not really know when the head will actually topple off. And without the head, actually, what happened is you, you can't really tell that. Um, wasn't the head? Yeah. Wasn't the head coming off when it hit the seam in the ball? Sorry? When the edge hit the seam on the ball, that's when it was losing its. Yeah. That's when you were losing. It. Yeah, most. That's when it generates would probably end right because the, because you haven't taped it up right because it's like this is not smooth. It will probably like bump on this and then it will probably fall uh, off at that point. That, that, that's that's yeah. why you're losing that's it. That's one. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. That, that, that's probably where, where you where it actually that's the actual point where it drops off. Yeah. yeah. Because it will probably jump right as it's moving. Yeah, correct. If, if yeah. it hits that seam. It's it will just jump, jump off, yes. And then it will just jump off if, if yeah. there's enough force. Yes, it is. You yeah. can also have an eject head button. Which one will fit? 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 The head goes down. Which one could hoop when it gets to the... What they say was that uh, in the movies, there's supposed to be a mode for the board whereby everything is controlled by the head. Mm. So like what you just mentioned. So they got actually an escape mode, which they never review in the movie so how drone. it works. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be that. <laughs> I'm thinking it might be that. So there's supposing a uh, escape mode whereby you will just float yeah. around. <laughs> next so movie, probably next movie. Yeah, next mm -hmm. movie. Like it. Or actually, nice. it loses the head and when it comes back, it jumps up. Yeah. Even though at the movies, there's some parts. Oh, yeah, there's people that haven't watched it yet. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't care about spoilers. Spoiler. <laughs> I'm not going to watch it anyway. Okay. What happens in the movie, there are some parts that is a bit. I would say ridiculous. <laughs> like. It actually topper from the stairs, come down the stairs okay. without but anything the robot happening. But wasn't used for the movie. It was a puppet in the movie. Ah, correct. It was yeah. a robot puppet that in the why. movie. Ah. But they made the, the real one for the stage. For the stage, right. Yeah. So it's not actually used for the movie. But and the question is how many of those things we see are pixels or not? Yeah. Okay. That's all the this oh, uh, what I heard CGI. there well, like was seven to eight version of the joke that's being created mm. for the movies so they got probably one for one for going right one for, for going left right. <laughs> <laughs> one for the head moving around <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like what you've got could be a very interesting remote control toy yeah, yeah. um what's the what's the bill of materials how much does it cost to put this uh, together that's the thing i haven't actually go and calculate <laughs> <laughs> okay there's a juno uh uno here mm. uh the the motor driver actually salvaged from one of our uh, other project. Based on what I saw on the internet, it cost about seven dollars. Okay. Then, uh, which of the motors cost about nine? So the rest is actually craft store stuff. The ball cost about ten, five. Your BLE shield. Maybe. Sorry. The Bluetooth low energy. Ah yeah, that's the only one that cost about that. that cost twenty six. Mm. I think. Yeah, I should got it from Chubby. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. The red bear labs. 
Sorry? Is it the Red Bear Labs? The BNH? Ah, no, the... Uh, other group. Other food. Eh, the food. Yeah, the food. Yeah. The food. NRF, yeah. Yeah. The food. Yeah. So, cool. Very neat. Thanks. Mm. You want to show it? can download the other food app and you will be able to find it then just connect now lah. Oh, <laughs> so that means it's just a, it's a UR, you're sending because it's it? Okay, okay. okay. When did you start on the project? Uh, when did I start on the project? Let's see, it's probably a month plus. Oh. Actually, the, to get to this stage, it's quite easy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> to get to this stage, it's the one that's tough. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Because it starts to be a bit difficult because you don't know how much mana to use mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then you cannot find materials to make the head oh, yeah. almost yeah. and stuff like that. So it's slightly a bit tougher right. on the manner portion. Yeah. Oh yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.